Welcome back to Food for Thought. Today we're in Crystal City at Cora Restaurant, which combines contemporary Italian food with modern elegance. Cora was created by acclaimed chef Maru Watera, along with his wife Heather and brother Amadou. For two years in a row now, Maru has been nominated Best Chef in the Metro Area by the Washington Metropolitan Restaurant Association. Get ready for some great Italian food, because it's time to get cooking. So where did the name Cora come about? Well, uh, we had a restaurant before called uh, Faro Libia, you know, that, that was named after our first daughter. Then uh, when she was expecting and we, you know, we, we're in the business, so we always want to grow anyways, we decided to open uh, another restaurant named after her. And we realized that, well, the only thing actually she likes is pasta. So why don't we just do an Italian restaurant? Why did you choose to put your restaurant here in Crystal City? Why this area? We're maybe five minutes away from downtown DC. We're close to the airport. But I don't know. This seems like a new up and coming area. Yeah. And what makes your Italian so different and unique compared to other Italian restaurants in the area? You know, we look at things differently anyways. You know, I, I used to say, you know, I cook with an accent. Just like the way I speak, so it, it, no matter what I put on the plate, it's gonna be, it's gonna be different. We don't have a traditional look at Italian food. Not like the, these huge portions of pasta. It's just just more modern, more contemporary. We decided, well, maybe we shouldn't go directly straight to Italian. Maybe we should make it a little bit of uh, Mediterranean as well. And um, you know, everything we're gonna put on the plate, it's gonna have a little, it's gonna be a little different. It's not the pure, straight from Italy food. Italian, a little bit more interesting. Okay, your brother's in the kitchen cooking up some food. Do you mind if we go in and take a take a look at what he's doing? Oh, sure. Let's go. This must be the executive chef. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Amadou, executive chef of a restaurant Cora. Great. So, yeah. what are you doing here? Actually, I want to show you guys uh, one of the homemade pasta. Uh, which is the tortelloni made with uh, oven roasted butternut squash. Mmm, that sounds yeah. great. So we want to start in here. Uh, what I got here is the uh, pasta dough. Okay, so after you get your dough done, we want to cut in, uh, in square pieces and then start with the, uh, the butternut squash. It's actually roasted with a uh, little uh, nutmeg, salt, and pepper. And so, it's a generous portion. Yeah, it is a generous portion. That's what this restaurant is about. We want people to come back and have a good time. Is this one of your most popular dishes? Exactly. People love it. We always, you know, fresh made, everything is uh, made daily. I'm going to start uh, cooking the pasta. Okay. Here, get some uh, salty boiling water. Okay, and then the cream sauce that you use? It's made with just a heavy cream. Should we cook with a little nutmeg, uh, uh, bay leaves, and then uh, finish with the saffron. Oh, this looks excellent. Can and I taste it? Of course. Mmm. Oh, I bet you're jealous right now. <laughs> this is very good. The squash is delicious. It's, it's delicious like, and sweet. It's and sweet, yes. Sweet. And then the yeah. creamy sauce. Excellent. I give you a high five Thanks. on that. Okay, the way I heard about Cora was because of its popular delicious calamari, so I had to try it. I've tried it twice so far, and I have to say it's the best calamari I've ever tasted. And I've had a lot of calamari. So, what goes into it? Well, let's say I'm, I'm really happy to hear that from you. What we do here, we just put in the marinade in the milk first. From there, and just pass through basic flour, nothing special to it. Now, the thing I noticed the first time I had it was that it wasn't chewy at all. The reason it's so tender is because we get the smaller calamari. Mm -hmm. The bigger they are, the tougher they become. So. Do you season it right after because it just sticks exactly. to the calamari? Yes. Okay. We start with the three different sauces. This is the granulata, which is the toast, uh, breadcrumbs, a lemon zest, and a parsley. The second sauce we use on it is a basil aioli. Okay. You got a shallot, basil, a little lemon juice, and uh, basically the homemade mayonnaise right here. Okay. Marinara sauce. Salt, pepper, uh, basil, garlic, and uh, olive oil. 
<sighs> this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Since I've had it a couple times before, I don't know. This is so tender. It is the best calamari I've ever had in my life. You have to come here and try it yourself. Just get this, it's delicious. Now, that, now I'm getting thin, right? <laughs> Italian food? Uh, 22 years. 22? Yes, that was in 1988. What made you interested in Italian food? I love our food. You know, uh, our mother was a uh, good cook. We grown up, you know, just uh, eating excellent food. Uh, that's where the inspiration came from. We got uh, filet mignon beef, which is, uh, you know, it has really seasoning, you have salt and pepper on it. How many ounces is that? Uh, that is six and a half ounces of filet. Now, do most of your customers order at medium, medium well? What do you find? Uh, it's kind of mixed. It's usually between a medium and medium well and a few uh, medium rare. So with the filet being uh, in the oven for four minutes, as I say, we let it rest for a few minutes. So now it's time to serve it. This is the uh, sweet potato puree. Mm -hmm. The sauce is actually what we do here. We roasted the uh, beef bones in the oven until they turn brown oh, uh, with some carrot, uh, yeah, with the mirepoix, and then uh, finish with the red wine and the reduction. Now, how did you pair the filet with the sauce and then the cheese? The cheese, actually, gorgonzola cheese is, uh, you know, very uh, good with the uh, brown sauce. What we're trying to do is get a sweet from the, uh, the sweet potato, the steak, and the cheese, all the combination, and exactly with the rosemary, which is infused also on the sauce. Delicious. It's nice and juicy. It just melts. You don't even really have to chew it too much. It just melts. And the sauce is delicious too. It's not Thank too you. heavy. Perfect. Thank you so much for allowing us in. I know it's getting busy and you're a busy man. Um, I enjoyed having a little bite of Cora and I will definitely be back. Thank you. And you too. You better come in. That was amazing food. Thank you to the staff here at Cora. If you want more information, visit CoraRestaurant.com for directions, menus, and more. So do you have a restaurant in mind that you think we should visit? If so, email us at avn at arlingtonva.us. Well, that's all for now, but join us next time for more delicious bites of Arlington. Serves what they call Fusion Italian Fusion Style. Today we're in Crystal City at What's the restaurant? Exactly, is. Sorry, Pete. <laughs> nope, just like refresh. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Get ready for some great Italian cooking, because it's time to start cooking. <laughs>